Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a follow up video regarding my size store premium benefit video that I put out a while ago. In that video, I mentioned uh, eSign, which is one of the premium benefits that you receive by becoming a sus uh, subscriber on the, the size store server by becoming either a subscriber pro or a subscriber pro max. As you see right here, right now on the screen, which I'm going to pull out right now on the screen so you guys can see. This right here is um, some of the benefits that you get. But the most important one are right here, subscriber, uh, supporter pro and supporter pro max. Uh, disregard the pricing that you see here, since the pricing here is a little bit off, since I'm actually showing you this from my iPad screen, the price is a little bit fluctuated if you subscribe to uh, Discord using your iOS device, so it's better to use the web version of Discord because the price is actually uh, is um, lower than that, to be honest. So disregard the pricing that you see right here. I'm gonna have the correct pricing showing in the screen so you guys can see also as well. So going back to the topic, um, you could use eSign. They have an eSign version that they sign in and that it has an expiration day of 365. So basically you get a full day or e uh, a full year of eSign, uh, my apologies. You get a full year of eSign instead of the, regard, um, the standard seven days. And let me go a little bit more into details regarding this. As you guys know, when you signed up and use um, Site Store or All Store, and you're using your Apple ID, you have a seven days uh, limit on the app for you to refresh it in, in order for you to avoid losing access to the app. On top of that, since you're using a free developer account, your app limit is set to 10. So you cannot install more than 10 apps, but on top of that, you cannot have more than three after that at the same time. By using Site Store Premium Benefits, you're basically going to disregard all of this and you can install as many apps as you want, but it's not going to be through um, the Site Store app. It's going to be through one of the benefits that they offer their subscribers, which is um, eSign. Esign is already signed by the team, so it has a one-year expiration day. And after you become a, a subscriber here, one of the supporters with one of these two benefits right here, so Supporter Pro or Supporter Pro Max, um, you're going to gain access to a provisionary profile so you could actually sign the apps yourself, as, uh, um, as many apps as you want, and it's going to be siloed using Esign in your device and the app that you install using Esign through the um, site store uh, supporter benefits is going to have 365 days instead of the standard seven days. So you don't need to purchase a developer account. As soon as you in one of these two tiers right here, you can see on the screen, you're going to have access to sign your app using eSign. We have 365 day limit. So basically, that's what eSign is. is it's another front for you to sign your APIs yourself and installing your iOS devices. And again, the reason why you will you see eSign is because you will avoid those seven days uh, limit for the apps and the app limit or only having three apps there at the same time or using those 10 free app limitations. You still could use Site Store for, let's say you're on a lower version of iOS, iOS 16 and below, and you depend on using JIT then you install the emulators that you use or the app that needs to use the G through using Site Store, but you're going to be limited to the seven days. And But the advantage is you're going to be able to have the JIT. With eSign, you do not have that luxury of having the JIT. It's just a front for you to install the app. So if you worry about having many apps installed, then the way that you're going to install it is you are um, a sus uh, subscriber on Discord for Side store is going to be eSign. Makes you worry about using some JIP or any other functions, then you start your app normally using Side store. eSign is just that extra benefit that they give you so you can install as many apps as you want in your iOS device without any restriction. The only thing, again, is the difference is with Side store, you get JIP 
if you're on iOS 16 or lower and ESA do not have that benefit. Again, in order for you to get access to eSign, you need to become, again, once again, let me, I need to repeat this as much as possible because I know I'm gonna have a lot of questions later on, is either by becoming a Supporter Pro or Supporter Pro Maps in the Side Store Discord server. If you are a Supporter Pro, you're gonna get one slot for the, for your device ID, so you could use. What this means is, uh, each of your iOS device, your iPhone or your iPad, they have a new ID, which is called a UD ID. You're gonna need to send that to the team after you become a subscriber. And when you become a subscriber, they're gonna link your device to the provisionary profile they're gonna give you. After you have submitted all the information, because after you become a, a um, subscriber, um, the team, again, is gonna need a couple of information about your device. They're gonna need, they're gonna make sure that you are a supporter and you know those two tiers that you guys can see on the screen they're gonna need the UAD ID of your device please make sure you give the thing like around three to four business days so they could actually process your information because after you uh the process of the information you need to send this to the, the developers i'm gonna leave the information uh down below in the video description you can see which uh developer you could message them after you become a subscriber and you can send them your information so they could get you up and started. Because after you have that information done and sent, you're going to receive from the team something like this. Let me just open my eSense so you guys can see. You're going to receive something like this from the team. You're going to receive a folder uh, with your um, provisionary profile and your development development profile. And before you have an ESA even installed, after you receive the confirmation from the team that you've already been whitelisted and all of that, you're gonna have head off here after you become a subscriber, you're gonna have access to this area right down below right here, which is for premium members. And you're gonna go right here to get your benefits on the, on the instructions, and you're gonna go right here in this link. After you devise a white list, listed, you will be able to download this. If you're not white listed, it's gonna give you an error when you're trying to uh, download any of this app. The way that you white listed it again is by sending you, you the ID, and when you send that, and they have the confirmation that yes, you're good to go, then you will be able to download eSign. After you download eSign, it's gonna download in the background and install over the air, so you don't have to do anything like that. So after you have all of that. You're gonna head back to Discord because they're gonna send you a message to Discord so you can download the folders that, that I show you. And let me go back here so you can see the again the folder. After you have the folder downloaded, you're gonna open eSign and you're gonna go right here to the three docs right here. You're gonna click on import and you're gonna look for your folder for the benefits. It's gonna be in a zip file, so it's gonna be something like this. They're gonna send you a folder like this on your Discord, and you're gonna click on import. And after you click on import, you're basically gonna select this again, and you're gonna click on unzip, and you're gonna unzip the folder. And after that, you don't need to have those extra files in here, so you could just delete this, and you're gonna click on delete, and yes. Inside the folder, that you're gonna have a provision profile, and right here, you're gonna have this. So you're basically gonna click on it and you're gonna click on import certificate and they're gonna ask you for a password. They're gonna send you that password in the Discord so you could have access to the file. And now, after you have all of this, I'm actually gonna show you how to use this. After this is all the setup, but that's, again, you need to have a subscription, you need to message your team information, you gotta wait three to four business days until they get everything set up and running. Then you gotta go on the premium, tap it option download eSign and when they send you the folder import all those files here and again you're gonna click on here to import the documentation and then you're gonna click on here and import in both of the files this one's gonna import right away the second one's gonna ask you for a password they're gonna send you that password so you can import that file now you want to silo an API so to silo an API I'm gonna do an example we emo 3ds um, as you guys 
it's no, I don't know if you are aware. I have a video on setting up the mo 3 ds and I have a lot of questions saying that if the, I'm having the same error as then because there's a new version of mo 3 ds which is used silo using Scarlet, All Store, and Side Store. It's for some reason giving some error installing. But I've been using that version on well with eSign through the doing the installation through eSign and it's been running smoothly without any issues. So for this example, I'm gonna show you here how to install that. So for importing the API, we're gonna go back here again. We're gonna go click on import. Then you're gonna look for the the API, that's the latest version right here for the MO3DS. I just made a folder in my iOS device so I could locate the file faster. So you're gonna click on the file and it's gonna do, it, it's gonna ask you, you wanna import it to the app library. You click on import. Basically, when you click on import, it's gonna be right here, but you will have to click again to click import to the libraries. So what we click import to the libraries. So basically it's gonna show up right here where it says app. This is the app right here, but as you guys can see, we got two tabs right here. This one that says unsign and sign it. If you click on install this because it's unsigned, it, uh, it's going to show you an error. So I'm going to just do this right here so you guys can see exactly what's going to happen. So we click install. It's not signing yet. We click install. Has been downloaded. Return. So if you go back here on my desktop here, and if we see ML3DS, let me look for it right now so you guys can see. ML3DS, you will see this right here. You will see this error right here. You will see the app and you will see you will see this error right here. Sometimes you don't even see the logo of the app. It will have, it will have just like a plain app. And it tells you this. The app cannot be installed because his integrity cannot be verified. The reason why that happened is because the app right now is unsigned. So basically you just gotta hold it here, select it, and you're gonna click on signature. After clicking on signature, you're gonna make sure that it's under the provisional profile that they send you through App Store. And right here you can actually see the uh, expiration date for that for the um, a provisional profile that you were saying with your benefits. So you click on OK and you're going to click on Signature. After clicking on Signature, it's going to do the installation. I mean, it's going to be signing the app with the signature so you could actually use it. And we're going to click on Install. Now you're going to get this pop up. We're going to click on Install. It's going to try to install the app. And now, if I go back to the, it should be installed already. Download it, complete it, install it now. Okay, it should be installed by now. So let me lower this down. Let's look for MO3DS again. As you guys can see, it doesn't have the arrow pointing down. That means that the app is already installed. So if I click on it, as you guys can see, I'm already on the latest version and I already have it installed. I have iOS 16, so I could use JIT, but again, since I'm not using Side Store, I won't be able to turn on the JIT unless I'm using a secondary iOS device and I'm using something called JiraBug to turn it on. So I'm gonna leave that off. And as you guys can see, it's installed successfully and I'm not having the issue that I couldn't install this app. If you guys want to see some gameplay of this, I could do that later. And, um, but right now I just wanted to show you this because I wanted the video to be more longer than 15 minutes because a lot of people are going to complain about it. So I wanted to keep it short and informative as possible. And that's all you uh, you have to do to get your benefits and uh, get it started. If you have any question using eSign or anything like that, you could also come in here for asking for some of the benefits. If you are a uh, subscriber premium, you could go here. We have some photos right here for the subscribers. And also I could help you as well. I'm one of the helpers here helping out the community on Side Store. So if you have any question, I have time available. You could either message me here on my YouTube um, comments on the, under this video, or you could come on the Side Store. Discord, I'm gonna leave the, all the links down below in the video description. So you guys, if you have, have any questions, 
And I hope you find this informative. And thank you all guys for watching. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.